What is going on guys? Destin here and spring is here too. Uh, camping season's right around the corner and today we are checking out probably my favorite floor plan. This is a 2024 Coleman Lantern LT 202 RD. So no slide, you get a dinette, you get a couch, you get a separate bedroom and they packed all of this into about a 24 foot box all together with your tongue and bumper. So Let's go around the outside of this thing, see what it's got, and head on in here. So, true with Coleman at the front, you're going to have a power tongue jack, two 20-pound LP tanks, and then our quick connect for solar is going to be right behind there. So you're already pre-wired to go. When we get inside, you'll see some of the outlets are inverter prepped, and they're really starting to go a little bit farther than they have in the past. Recently, Coleman has had their production taken over by the Keystone team instead of being led by Dutchman. So I think we're going to see some of those Keystone additives shortly incoming into the Coleman lineup. Pass through storage towards the front. The baggage door on the off door side is the same side, so you're not losing any space there. Uh, fully finished pass through too, so no exposed plywood or anything like that. Magnetic catches on all of the doors, so you're not going to break any clips off. And that puts us under our power awning. Decent sized awning with a LED strip underneath there so you get some outside lighting. You have the flip up steps in this particular coach. They changed from a two step system to a three step. So if your knees are giving you a little bit of trouble, you don't have that, that height to be able to clear to get to the next step. So they're thinking about it. Outdoor power, outdoor speakers so you can hang out under the awning and kind of enjoy the campsite a little bit. And the stabilizers on this one are all manual stabilizers, front and rear. I know the smaller Coleman's, they forego those front stabilizers, so thought I'd point it out. Pretty standard in the rear. They give you a really big back window, which we'll get to. That's the RD or the rear den per se. Backup camera prepped, sewer spot, spot for your sewer hose right underneath there. And your services are on the backside, so they've switched it out for a tankless water heater. 30 amp connection in this one, so single air conditioner, no need for a 50 amp connection. There's your water fill, as well as your cable in, so you can watch some TV on those rainy days. Underneath this side here is going to be our exits for our sewer, just a single a single exit, so no Y-pipe needed. Does not have an enclosed underbelly, so no extended season camping unless you're not running your water. Something to consider, but you'll be good for most of the season. There's our water connections towards the front there and the other side of that pass-through, which still gives you the magnetic door catches. Now we got that out of the way, let's head on inside here. Again, this is probably my favorite layout in the camper just because of the utilitarian sort of setup. You get everything you need furniture-wise without a slide-out in a small box, and they just killed it with the window placement. I think a lot of campsites would do good with a setup like that, being wrapped in, in windows. Let's start off in the front. So you have a queen-size bed with nightstands on both sides and wardrobes on both sides too. Pretty standard wardrobe. Uh, they're not the full length ones, but that does give you the little pocket underneath there. You can hang a couple shirts up there. Both sides will have a USB charger and 110 volt power. Now, this is one of those outlets that's inverter prepped. And there's, I believe four or five in this whole coach and they'll have these little yellow stickers. So if you did want to make this more off grid applicable, you can add an inverter and run some 110 stuff. Window that actually opens in the bedroom here. And above that's gonna be our spot for a TV hookup. They do give you a privacy curtain, so you do get a little bit of privacy in the master suite here. And the way that the floor plan's set up, that mid bath kinda almost makes a separate room, which is part of the reason why I like the layout here. That gets us into the kitchenette and our control panel. So obviously no slide, so no slide button there, but your awning control, water pump, water heater, etc. Water heater control is going to be right above there and all of our interior lights and stuff. In the kitchen area you get a huge window over the sink and your three burner cooktop which I really like. Anything to bring in some more natural light. USB chargers right by the door, inverted outlet right by the door there. 
The storage up above is pretty standard. You got a single cabinet, graystone microwave, graystone range hood, and the full graystone appliance package with a little oven right underneath. Heater block right past that. A little bit of storage under the sink area. And then I got full extension drawers. I got three of them. This is kind of entertainment center, maybe like a pantry sort of setup. There's a little bit more space right up above there. Uh, radio controls, that'll do the indoor and outdoor speakers. We got another TV mount towards the back here. Maybe on the exterior wall or on the cabinet there and put it on a swivel mount. And just take a shot at these windows here. They're all big, they're huge. You get plenty of natural light. And most of the time when you're backing into a campsite, that's where you want your view to be. So good on them for, for doing it right. Full-size dinette, of course, will break down to a sleeper. And we have a couch right opposite that. And again, a jackknife couch will just come down to a sleeper there. There is a little bit of storage over on that other side. I got services that are taking up the other half. But you do get some deep storage there. On top of a little bit of overhead over the couch itself. Big Canon electric refrigerator here. So 12 volt, 110 good amount of space down bottom freezer is separate which i like to see and here's where your pantry is going to be it's going to be right there that's pretty deep goes back to the outside wall of the coach should be able to stuff some stuff in there mid bath layout so that separates the living area and the bedroom in such a small frame and it's compact in here i've got to i got to say if there's a downfall to this layout the bathroom is going to be it um little sink area Storage underneath there. You do not get a medicine cabinet, but just a mirror. And there's our commode area. Plastic commode in this particular one. Knee space is not the best. I'm right up against this right here. And that gets us into the shower stall. So you do get a vent up above, so you're not going to be uh, soaking the bathroom. But a little bit compact in the bathroom as a whole. But I guess when you're trying to stuff so much in a, a small frame like this, you gotta you gotta concede somewhere. And I think that's about the tour of the Coleman here. If I if I missed anything you wanted to see, definitely leave a comment. And if you're part of that RV lifestyle, make sure to follow along for more. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.